How should I network as a projector according to human design? So this question came in as a comment on one of my videos, and I'm going to read what this person said. They shared, I was at a work-related event, and a colleague confessed I may have pushed myself into a conversation too soon. Their words, it felt invasive. As triggered as I was to hear this, I also appreciated them for telling me. I'm working on developing a greater social awareness to know when to approach a group in conversation versus when to stand alone with an inviting smile and wait to be approached. If I'm in a group chatting, would it be better to simply be a listener? So this is the question. And every time I speak to a projector, um, we seem to share an experience of being told we're too much, we're too intense, um, having experiences of being bossy and overstepping people's boundaries. If, as human design tells us, our aura is designed to penetrate the aura of someone else in order to guide them, then it would make sense that without permission, without being invited, that would feel invasive. But what do you do when you're in a situation where networking is what's happening and you're there to connect? If you want a really strict and comprehensive interpretation of what to do as a projector in that certain situation, um, according to human design, I'm going to link to a video by my friend Carolyn Southwell, who talks a lot about this and is very knowledgeable in human design. So this is Stephanie's answer. I am not a human design expert. I am an emotional, a 6'2 emotional projector according to human design with a split definition. I am not studied, but I have lived through a lot of this myself. And one of the things that, one of the reasons why I don't go to the chart and to what is quote unquote correct according to human design is because I think it takes us away from the whole point of human design, which is listening to what you know, feeling what you know, and trusting that guidance inside of you, that inner authority. We can far too easily get caught up in doing it right instead of living. And so here are my three suggestions for projectors in a networking situation. The first thing to do that will always be helpful for you is to slow down and quiet your mind. When you have a lot of very busy thinking in any situation, especially a network situation, and you're thinking about, I have to do this and I have to do that, and you're very emotional, right? You're not in touch with what you know to do. It's harder to read the room. You're more likely to act out of either shrink back in fear or push forward out of desperation or whatever that's happening inside of you. When you're quiet, when you're calm, you're clear. You will know what's right for you. You will better be able to read the room and you'll respond accordingly. You'll know what an invitation feels like to you and whether you need to wait for one by sitting quietly in the corner with a smile or not. The second thing I want to tell you is lighten up about this. What if you can't get it wrong? We're talking about networking here, right? So you're not going to kill anyone and you're not going to die if somebody feels like you butted into a conversation too soon. It's really not that big of a deal. It's okay. Take the pressure off. This is also contributing to the busyness in your mind that keeps you from knowing what's yours to do. And then the third thing is experiment with this for yourself and give yourself permission to explore and try different things. One of the most helpful things that I did was what I a 30-day projector marketing experiment. And each week I took a different strategy. And one week I did what I thought was acting like a generator and like initiating a bunch of stuff and like doing all the things and working really hard. And another week 
I waited for the invitation. And the third week, I just acted intuitively with whatever I was led. And the fourth week, I just told stories. And I thought I was going to come away with an idea of what marketing looked like for me as a projector. But what I actually learned was to show up and notice what was happening to me and experiment with it. It taught me far more about lightening up about this thing called business and all these things, including networking and enjoy it, just enjoy it. And all of that is going to get you what you really want because when you're enjoying things and when you're relaxed, people tend to be drawn to you. You tend to get recognized more and the right opportunities for you come along and you'll recognize them. So those are my, my tips from personal experiment experience, not necessarily according to human design as it is taught. I hope that this is helpful. And if you have other questions around these topics, please let me know. I'm happy to do my best to answer.